Today we're recreating Mi Gente by Jay Balvin and Willie William on Soundtrap.com. Let's start our project off by changing the tempo to 105. Now let's add a drum set. For this beat, we want a really round and solid bass drum, and I landed on red. The bass drum is going to be on every beat, and the snare drum is going to go from being on the fourth square and the third square, the fourth square and the third square. It should sound like this. Awesome. Let's drag out our pattern. We're only going to do four measures, so we're going to drag out our pattern for four measures and then turn on our loop after four measures. Because that snare drum sound is so thin, we definitely want to add another drum set to make a wider and larger snare drum sound. So I'm going to go back in and do the fourth square, third square, fourth square, third square. But now I'm on the hunt for a drum set that has a wide snare drum sound. I landed on the drum set Futura. Now you're more than welcome to choose any drum set sound. We're only trying to get the snare drum sound to be wider, a little bit larger. I saw in the comments of a previous video that I was not using the free sounds anymore. And I didn't realize that the, it used to say free next to those sounds. And now that's not there anymore. Uh, so I don't know which sounds are free. So I apologize about that. So I just encourage you to make any sound that you want, but we definitely need to make the snare drum bigger. That argument is going to continue on for anything else that happens today. Let's see what it sounds like now. Okay, feature is way too loud. It's gonna pull it down. Wonderful. What I'd like to do is to go to the final measure, let's say this one, and just add an extra click. So this is the second to last uh, grid here. I'm putting one on three and four, just to kind of add some variation. So when we get to the fourth time, there's just something different. If you want to change what the rhythm is on that last one, you can make it anything you want, even if you add, let's say, two of them. Just to say, hey, this is the end of the phrase. The next thing we're going to add is the hi-hat pattern, which is luckily very simple. We're going to keep it on vanilla. We're going to change hi-hat close to hi-hat open and just tap the first square of each grid, drag that out, and now let's mix it into our beat. Simple as that. During the chorus, we hear a jingly sound that sounds like either jingle bells, sleigh bells, or a tambourine. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is look for, how do we get a tambourine sound? So we're gonna look for the one titled two. Once you have two loaded up, change your open hi-hat to crash. And we're just doing quarter notes. We're doing the first of every grid, drag it out. And let's try and mix in this tambourine sound. So in this situation, I actually made it louder because I wanted to really stand out. To make it sound a little bit wider also, we can add reverb to make it last a little bit longer. We isolate it. And the metronome on is not helping because it's kind of blending in. All right, let's keep it moving. This next sound's a pretty fun one. We're gonna go and add a drum set, move it over to Swish. Then turn one of your sounds into Crash 2. Mine was already there because I've done this before, but you want Crash 2 available on any track, and we're gonna add this to beat four. I know this one at the bottom, so it's hard to see, but this is measure one. So on beat four, we're just gonna put it right there, and then drag that out. So it's on beat four of every grouping. It's just a nice variation at the end of the beat. Add another drum set. We're looking for purple kit this time. If this is not one of the free sounds, you could definitely go in with any drum set sound and just add these hi-hat hits in there or not. It's completely your choice. Go in and change any one of these layers to hi-hat pedal. To make this pattern, we're gonna go to the fourth grouping over here and add it to the third one. We don't need to do it multiple times. We can just drag it out. And we hear a really quick hi-hat, butt it up, a real quick cluster. I'm gonna make it louder just so it blends in. If you want a more active hi-hat, you can click these in all over the place and see what they sound like. Or if you want a more unique pattern, you don't have to loop out, you can actually just put it randomly throughout the entire four measures. We're gonna add one more drum set sound. This time we're looking for auto, O-T-T-O. Change any track to rim shot, and then we're gonna fill in the third square on the second grouping. It should sound like this. 
and we're going to loop that out. And so this part in the real song is actually like a go-go bell pattern. We're like, da, 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 da. I couldn't find any real acceptable replacements. So I landed on this sound. If you want to find a high bell sound in any of the drum sets, you can definitely use that. Or you could use any creative option you want. And that's what we ended up with. That completes all of our drum set sounds. Now, of course, you could add more. There's so many layers to this real beat, but these are all the things that really stood out to me. The next thing I would like to add is the bass line. And the bass line is super low, super round. It's definitely an 808 of any kind that you want. I ended up going with 808 broad stereo, which I'm pretty confident is not a free sound, but again, you can choose any sound that meets the criteria of low and round. We don't want a hard punch. We want a sound that's more felt than heard, if that makes sense. There's two options here. If you have a great set of headphones or a great set of speakers, you can use this lower bass option. The one that is default sounds like this. If you can't hear that, or if that does not sound great in your setup, I just suggest moving up the octave. And that way it sounds better and it's a little bit more audible for you. So whichever octave you need to do it in, the letters are C, M, G. And the pattern is C, M, M, G, C, M, M, G, repeating. So whichever octave is best for you, let's record it. All right, let's double click, control A, we're gonna quantize to the eighth note. Let's listen. For my friends listening who say they, maybe they can't hear it right now, I'm going to hold shift and press up 12 times. And now it's up an octave. If that sounds better to you, that's perfect. Use the higher octave. Use the volume now to mix the sound so it matches the intensity of the drum set. We really want a nice marriage between those two sounds, the bass and the rest of the drum set all need to sound like one clean operation all together. The last bit of this, which is also probably the part you're most interested in, is the melody synth line. That's all that remains to make this a finished product. Now, of course, there's no single one sound that sounds perfect to replace this melody. That's the reason this song is so catchy. It's such a unique sound. It sounds like a saxophone with a ton of tremolo on it, but then it also has these pitch bends in there that make it really fun to listen to. So all those things combined, it's very hard to replicate. So what I'm gonna do is create as many sounds as we can and combine them so that all together, they have a chance to sound a little bit like this sound. So let me show you how to play it and then we can pick any instruments we want. I'm gonna start by adding the alto saxophone. The letters we're gonna be using are C, B, M, and G. And the pattern goes like this. Repeats over and over again all four times. Let's give this a shot. Let's record that over the beat. Let's go in and quantize real quick. Control A, quantize. Let's do the eighth note. Sounds very similar, but it's missing a lot. First thing I'm gonna do is to go into the instrument. I'm gonna add an effect. I'm gonna add the effect of tremolo. Tremolo is a sound that's gonna make it sound like it's wobbling in the air. Now that sound is too slow, so let's take our rate higher. Depth is gonna be how much of a wobble we get, and rate is how fast that wobble occurs. So let's play with these two settings until we really like our sound. Okay, I think I landed on a sound that I like. The cool part now, I just need to add more instruments and copy and paste the melody I've already played onto each of those lines. The next idea I had was to add the synthesizer Crescent Rise. 
If you don't have the synthesizer, you can go through many of the free sounds that they have and find which one you like the most. I can grab this alto saxophone part, hold alt on my computer, and drag down. Too easy. I'm gonna mix down until I hear the saxophone and the synthesizer at the same volume level. I'm gonna go to the synthesizer track, add effects, and I'm gonna add the tremolo also. And again, play with the two settings until you like the sound. I also want a more aggressive sound from the synthesizer, so I'm gonna go in and add an overdrive. Awesome, now I don't like how much bass I'm hearing, so I'm gonna add an equalizer, and I'm gonna pull down the three faders above low. Now I'm not getting as much of that low end, which I really like. I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb. So this is nice and all, but now I wanna add something that's more my style, maybe a little bit something more that if I were to create this song, I would add one more layer to this. Again, you may or may not have this sound. I just encourage you to be as creative as you want. I'm gonna look up Rusty Trap Bells. I'm gonna hold Alt, pull down my last track so it matches. Let's listen to what this sounds like all by itself. I'm gonna click the headphones on the track. I like the hard percussive attack and then I like the long sustain. I'm gonna pull down the volume till it matches the rest of the ensemble. I'm noticing that maybe my synthesizer's too loud because I don't hear too much saxophone. So just like that, we have our melody, we have our bass line, and we have our beat going. I encourage you truly to find whatever sound you like to make. You could really take this opportunity to go to a different genre even. This could be electric guitar, this could be all wind instruments, this could be a little bit more electronic sound. You completely get to choose. I chose this song because of multiple requests. Thanks for keeping on me about it. I appreciate that you didn't give up. Also, I want to give a quick shout out. I was a part of the Soundtrap Educational Summit 2.0, which you can find on Soundtrap's Facebook page and their website. If you're interested in learning more about the educational side of Soundtrap, I highly encourage that you head over and see those free materials. I'll link them down in the description.